Well, I think it already is a systemic disease for some people. We're just not recognizing the full implications of the pathogenesis and the clinical manifestations. I mean, I don't think it necessarily is going to evolve to do more systemically, but I think what we likely see uh, are more surprises like the multi the system inflammatory disease in children, Miss C. Uh, I think we likely will see as time goes by some post infection sequela that we'll only realize as we do good follow up in natural history studies. I mean, the, the scope of the seriousness of this infection is, is extraordinary. I mean, from people who get a snuffy nose and a little sore throat and ache and they get better, to people who spend 14 days with a sustained fever and come out wiped out with a post viral asthenia to people who have serious lung involvement that either puts them in the hospital or creates intubation needs and intensive care and osmo to people who die. I mean, that range of severity is really, in many respects, unprecedented. Uh, so I think we still have a lot to learn about the disease of COVID-19.